Hi, this is Sam Albright. In 2012, I had the opportunity to mat and frame a series of prints from the amazing photographer Allison Wright. The exhibition was being held at Alley Cats Artists in Ellensburg, Washington. These powerful images needed just a simple black frame and a white mat. I sized the mat openings to leave 7 eighths of an inch around the printed image so the signatures would show clearly. All the frames were the same size, so with my Altos 4590 mat cutter, I could quickly cut all the mat board to size. Most of the images were the same size as well, so I could use the production stops on the Altos machine to help cut out the mat windows. Here I'm setting the stops for the first mat. There are three stops one to position the mat and two for the beginning and the end of the cut. After the first test mat, I cut all the mats for the prints in a short time. The sides and the top and bottom were different, so two different setups were needed. It was very satisfying cutting these clean, white, perfect mats. I checked over each corner and gently burnished the edges with a scrap of the same white museum board. Each Allison Wright print was handled delicately as we checked each mat on an individual print. Cloth hinging tape was used to attach the mat to the backboard. Okay. After final positioning, the print is carefully weighted down and the mat is lifted. I mark each corner on the backboard. This helps if the print were to slip out of place. Archival mounting tape was placed under the upper edge of the print. On these large prints, I only had about 3 eighths of an inch of contact with the paper, and this could easily be reversed in the future. For these heavyweight prints, I put three mounts along the top edge and press them firm with the tissue. Each tape is crossed with another piece of tape to form a T-mount. This traditional technique allows the print to expand or contract or breathe over the seasons and years. These mounts can easily be repaired or replaced in the future. After the print is secured to the backboard with the T-mounts, the hinged mat is checked for perfect fit and dusted off one last time before the glazing or glass is put on. The print, mat, and glass must be perfectly clean before assembling in the frame. As we completed the matting and framing, some of the Allison Wright prints were laid out side by side on a long table, ready to be hung for the exhibition.